Hi everyone, <laughs> it's Sabrina. That's the only part of that song I listen to. Um, I'm kind of excited. All right, so I've been putting together a birthday challenge giveaway for a little while now. Um, my birthday is at the end of this month, and I put together what I think is a pretty, a pretty cool package, and. Um, I wish I could just have a party, invite all of my crafty friends to come to this party, but this is the next best thing for me. So I am going to wait to the end of this video to, to actually present what the prize package is. Um, for this challenge, what I am asking for is um, two tags. And the tags could either be, they can be the same tag, or it could be two different tags. Now, I've been doing a really good job at um, cleaning out my craft room and and using stuff that I have. So I really, I don't have anything that I've made because the things that I've been making, I have been immediately sending out. So I do have a couple of things that I keep as my inspiration and I'm gonna kind of use as examples for what I'm asking for in the tags. Um, also, I'll put everything in the description box. And of course, if you have any questions, you can comment below or you can send me an email and I'll clarify anything for you that um, that you might have a question on. So two tags. The tags must be, um, the base of the tag has to be st uh, sturdy or substantial. And what I mean by that is this. I'm gonna try to show you. I normally, well, I like to. I like to start my tags with, with maybe a ready-made tag base. This right here, these are the um, the Hot Buys from Michaels, and I like to get these when they are $5, because you get 60 of them for $5. And if you can see, it's really, you know, it's a thick, it's a good piece of chipboard. So the base of the tag needs to be either medium or, or heavy chipboard. If you are using cardstock, like this is a tag that I'm working on, and it's actually, it's this base, and I've covered it, but you can see, you know, you can hear, it's it's sturdy. So, um, I don't want a flat tag. If you cut your own tags, a lot of times I'll start my tags, if I'm not cutting it out of chipboard, I'll use a manila envelope, oopsie, like this. Um, except, you know, this color of manila, just a regular file folder envelope, and then um, I'll layer them. So if you're going to use, if you're going to cut your tags and not start with a chipboard, or, or even, these are like some wood, wood tags that I have, that's good. If you're not starting with something like that, then um, your base should be between three to five layers of heavy cardstock. These are the Tim Holtz tags that sometimes I start with, but again, you know, it'll have to be three to five layers because I, I need for the tag to be sturdy. Um, the tag should be three layers, and what I mean by that is the, the base of your tag would be one layer, and then you'll need two additional layers. If you look at this, this is a tag that um, Ida Martinez had sent me. She's got the corrugated paper there. She's got another, um, it looks like maybe a doily there, and then a, another piece on top. So the tag, both of the tags, the base will be one layer, and then you need two additional layers, and one of those layers must be dimensional. If you look right here, she added um, the embellishment or the focal point, and it's, it's popped up, so it's dimensional. Okay, so you have three layers. Your base layer has to be a sturdy layer, two additional layers. One of those layers must be dimensional. Um, you must include some type of shimmer or shine. And what I mean by that is either sequins, some type of bling, or some type of glitter. Like this right here has sequins. It does not have to be a shaker. I just mean somewhere on the card to include some sort of um, shimmer or shine for me. And... Sent a sentiment is optional. 
So if you do not, if you choose not to include a sentiment, if you would leave a space, this one does have a sentiment, but if you would leave a space somewhere where a sentiment, the recipient, well, me, but I'm going to explain later something else, where, you know, the person who has the tag can include a sentiment. If you choose to include a sentiment, no holidays, no happy birthday, no congratulations. The sentiment must be like an everyday encouragement or edification sentiment. Um, I'll list examples, but I'm not limiting you to these. Be creative, you know, do what you do. Um, thinking of you, you rock, you're in my prayers, awesome, fabulous. You know, just something encouraging. It's, I do a lot of um, everyday tags. Like if I'm sending something to my sister or I'm giving something to someone at church, if I'm sending something to one of my friends, it's really, you know, just a note or I'm thinking of you or I'm praying for you. So something, you know, an edification and everyday type of sentiment. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So the two tags is, is all you need to send in to be entered into the giveaway and um, that it'll, that'll be one entry. If you would like additional entries, I have four ways that you can um, earn extra entries. So the first way is if you send any of these type of, of LOL items. Now, I know there have been seasons where I can't send extra, where I'm unable to shop and that is perfectly fine. You're not required to do this. If you're interested in doing it and you would like to earn extra entries, you can do this. Any of these LOL tags, sacks, the small, the small ribbon, any, any of these, any of the LOL stickers, these recipe cards, <clears throat> the stamps, and then these cards. My friend Tanya, hey girl, she um, she she sent me these cards, and um, uh oh, hold on. Um, I think they do have box sets. I haven't come across the boxed sets, um, of of the cards like this. So, but it's it's an option. So these you know a card the cards um in order to keep the playing field as as even as possible each each lol item whatever you whatever you send right lol related is worth one entry so if you send one ribbon one little ribbon it's worth one entry however if you decide to send a stack of five stickers, you know, LOL related, that is still worth one entry. So no matter what you send LOL related, it's worth one entry, one extra entry. Okay. Um, additionally, if you send any die, um, any die, I love stamps and I love dies. So any die or any, you know, any set of dies up to two will be worth an extra entry per die meaning let me see okay so if you send a die right this this like this here would be a set if you send a die this would be um it's worth one extra entry so if somebody sent me two right each one is worth one extra entry now, I'm being exaggerative here just to make the example. I'm not requesting this. I'm just making the example. If somebody sent me four dies, only up to two will be worth, you know, each extra entry. And again, this is so that I can keep the playing field as level as possible. Sometimes there'll be, somebody might enter. They, wanna, they want to enter the challenge and they only send the tags. So if somebody sent me four dies, like, you know, just me and my heart, I kind of, you know, the playing field is not level. So like I say, as an example, if somebody said, oh, here, yeah, yeah, you know, we have some very, I'm a giver. 
and I understand people who are givers and sometimes you just you just want to be <laughs> you know you're just doing it out of your heart because you want you want to be generous and I understand that and oftentimes because I'm used to being the giver it's hard to receive and I've had a few people you know how to call me out on it and say you know I'm doing this because I'm your friend or I'm doing this because I had the heart to do this so accept it you know accept it kindly and I don't want to tell anyone no don't send such and such you know because that's an for some people that's an insult to them as well so to try to keep it as even as possible for for someone who may not be able to you know somebody might want to send four but I'm only going to accept two as the extra entries. And again, I'm, I hope I'm making sense and I hope you understand why I'm doing it this way. The same thing for any stamp set. So if you send a stamp set and not LOL, so LOL is separate. This is for a separate entry. But if you send, uh, let me see. you know, if you send a stamp set, each individual stamp set, will be worth an extra an extra entry up to two only up to two if you decided to send more that's on you great i love it <laughs> i'm probably you know i'm a sharer so i i find ways to share everything that comes in um if not that's fine but each individual stamp set up to two will be worth each individual extra entry all right so and then the last the last way to get extra um, extra entries so remember it's two tags I'm asking for so the next way to get extra entries is to send a set of four mini embellishments um, now these embellishments need to be between one and two inches and not to exceed two by two inches and I think this here I believe uh, Carolyn I think Carolyn sent these to me I believe it was Carolyn who is Tea Time and Dolls. So yeah, like this, this will work. This is like a two by two. Not to exceed and not to be smaller than one inch. So anywhere between one and two inches, not to exceed two by two inches, I need a set of four. And um, bows, flowers, butterflies, or hearts. That's what I would like the embellishment to be centered around so if you see this right here there are flowers in the center of this embellishment um, the embellishment must be dimensional um, I'm gonna say between two or three layers and I'm gonna word it that way because like you see these sticker bows this is an embellishment but this would be considered one layer these bows I was gifted by Ebony who is sharing more and they are dimensional and then they have the additional little embellishment in the middle so that would be considered two layers and really the bowls are, are the only embellishment I think that you know gets it gets a little bit um, you know trying to figure out the layers of it because it's a bow but anything else if you're making a rosette or um, a small tag or a small envelope um, rosettes did I say that already um, these little shaped these little shaped embellishments were also gifted to me by um, Carolyn who is tea time and dolls and you see it's not flat they're dimensional it's a dimensional embellishment you know it has layers it has flowers so you know you have the freedom to do whatever it is you do if you like I said, whatever it is you make, whatever it is is your specialty, just make sure it doesn't exceed two by two. Make sure it's dimensional and it has the theme of either bowls, flowers, butterflies, or hearts. Um, if you make clay pieces, that's the, the clay pieces or like a small dangle or resin piece. If that's what, what you make and what you're good at, you can send that. That's the only exception to of course it needing to be one you know two and three layers because a clay piece is already you know it's already dimensional so that's the only exception if it's a clay piece or a resin piece or some type of of dangle that you make then that is already considered to be dimensional 
um, if you would package each set of four individually. See how these are packaged? Each set of four will be an additional entry and um, I'm going to say up to five because I know some people can sit around and just knock these out all day, all night. So up to five, up to five, each one will be an additional, um, an extra entry. Okay. Again, if you guys have any questions, you can comment below or you can email me and I'll, I'll answer anything. But really, all, you're requ all I'm requiring, all I'm asking for the challenge is that you send the two tags and that the tags are made to the specifications that will be in the description box. It has to be a sturdy tag. It should be made from medium to heavy chipboard. If not, you need to layer three to five um, layers of heavy cardstock for your base. Okay? Now to the good part. And I'm already 16 minutes in. All right. So... This is the prize package. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so first included in the package is this Cricut portable trimmer. This is actually the trimmer I use right now. This particular trimmer is the one that I have used the longest since I've, since I've gotten my trimmer. So that. Then we have the Tim Holtz travel stamp platform. Yay! <laughs> I use this all the time as well. Then we have the Memory Keepers uh, mini scoreboard. And I believe you can make envelopes with this one. I haven't used this one. Um, but I think on the, on the back of the actual board, you, they show you how to make envelopes using the scoreboard, I think. If not, I still think it's a, a cool little, you know, a mini scoreboard to have. Then we have this paper pad, this Prima paper pad. This is um, Love Story. Uh, then we have this Tim Holtz die set, and I love this. Let me see. Let me see. Because I did, I have, I have it cut out. I really, this is Tim Holtz and his butterflies, I tell you. So there's four pieces in here. So two of the pieces cut out the details. I don't know if you can see that. If you can you see that? Is that better? Cuts out the details. And then the other two, which I only have one of, and I jacked it up. And the other one cuts out the entire outline. So you actually have four stamps, but of course they're meant that you can use them together and you know you put the dimension like that. Beautiful. I love this stamp, this uh this die set. So that's that. Then we have um, a variety of stamps, and I'm going to include my stamp set. I have a Bow Bunny um, postage stamp set, a stamp set with uh, Monday through Friday, days of the week, and then this paper tray ink. This is another one that I use a lot. I have used a lot. I still use a lot, and it's all different thank yous. Thank you so much. Thank you ever so much. That little logo looking thank you thank you for your kindness like this is a really you can get a lot of use out of this stamp set and then finally we have the um the archival inks these are the waterproof dye inks that are in the distress colors and really when it's all said and done, I'm sure I'm going to end up including a couple of, of little extras in <laughs> at, at the end. But this is the, um, the prize package for the birthday challenge in addition to a $30 gift card to your choice of store. So Joanne, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or um, Tuesday morning. I am so super excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am because I really, I love, I love to share. I love to share. And I'm hoping you guys will come along and celebrate with me. 
um, by participating in this challenge. I cannot wait to see who wins, <laughs> who wins this package. Um, all right, I've been on and on for over 20 minutes already, so I'm gonna say thank you guys so much. Thank you for participating in my channel. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Okay, I absolutely forgot the most important thing. You have to be a verified visible subscriber in order to be entered for the prize package. Now, sometimes people, I've done it myself a couple of times, you know, they just want to participate. If you want to send the two tags, you're more than welcome to do that if that's all you want to do. But in order to be entered, for the prize package, that's all of this, and then the $30 gift card, you have to be a verified, visible subscriber. So that means once I go in and I choose the winner and I go to verify that you're a subscriber, I have to be able to visibly see that you're a subscriber in order for you to be eligible for the prize package. Okay, so that's it. Thank you guys again so much. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day. God bless and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.